Okay, hi, here it is the uh, 12th of December and I'm going to give another update on the uh, Tower Garden and a few interesting things specifically in regard to the plants. So, here we go. Garden as of today and you can see it's quite sprawling uh, right up to the ceiling. Now, just as a quick update on the, uh, the garden itself. It's been working well. I've got to add about, oh, 10 to 15 gallons of water a week. And uh, it goes in right here. I just added 20 gallons the other day. And it's still down. You know, I think you see some, some roots in there also. I've been pulling the roots. Uh, and I'm feeling I'm pulling grabbing handfuls of roots and sticking them out. So I'm kind of keeping them in check and away from the pump. It's been we going well. Now, the main thing to update is the tomatoes, the cucumbers, and the herbs. Tomatoes are doing fantastic. As you note here, like on this one, I've got uh, multiple stalks I've had to trim off. And uh, that's kept them off the ceiling. And they're still blooming and setting tomatoes very nicely. There's another nice set here. It's growing bigger. So I've got sets of tomatoes, you know, all over the place. That's been good. And, uh, and again, I'm trimming off the ends of these uh, branches letting the suckers grow up and then they get to a certain length and they cut those off too. So I'm trying to keep it focused in to the uh, unit itself. Now, that's been good. L uh, the last thing in terms of tomatoes, I guess you could see here, as we look up and look at some of these branches or some of these uh, leaves, they're all shriveled up. And uh, basically, uh, I think the reason is because we're not getting enough water. And I've got, uh, you know, five to 10 feet of length on some of these vines. With this system, it goes on for two minutes every 12 minutes, or three minutes every 12 minutes. So, uh, you know, it's obviously growing and doing very well, but I think it might be limited on the, uh, the outer extremities in terms of access to fluid. So what I've been doing to combat that is I've, I've uh, culled out lots of leaves, especially these, uh, these ones at, at the extremities and at the base. And I'm just trying to get uh, a bunch that grow out. So like this one, this branch right here, you can see it was culled in there, culled there, 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 five culls. On that one branch at the very end there's a sucker that's coming along so that'll be flowering shortly so i'm trying to get these interior things and then as you can see here on this one too called and then suckers allowing the suckers to grow and uh, suckers grow set some fruit and then beyond that i cut it off so that's been good for the tomatoes I, and uh, I should be raping up these tomatoes in the next uh, couple of weeks I'm guessing. Uh, uh, the last thing with tomatoes is of course you've got to hand fertilize so you come along there's no wind I, if I had a fan it would help but I just come in the morning and I just tweak these like I got this branch here some flowers at the end so I just come I'll just shake it or I'll just come with my finger and tap it and uh, pollen spreads into the flowers and sets the, sets the fruit. So that's been good. So that's the tomatoes. Now the other thing is the cucumbers. And the cucumbers, uh, you can see down below I had this problem with the pollination. And you can see, see that these flowers that come out like this and they don't get pollinated by hand, they don't do anything. Here's one that 
I think it's pollinated. And uh, there's one at the end here. I'm not really sure. The flower fell off when I was pollinating it, so uh, maybe a, a no go. And that's been very frustrating with tomatoes, and I've uh, you know, wondered, well, should I continue or not? Well, this, this uh, cucumber, sorry, this cucumber here, here's one. That's a, there's a male flower. That's the sun, full glory. So I pull those and I peel off the petals and then I'll, I'll take it and hand pollinate these guys. Now, when I'm successful, I end up like this, where, hey, I've got actual cucumber growing there. It's looking great. So, and there's some more uh, male flower, or female flowers. Uh, female flower right there. So I have had some success. Uh, maybe I've uh, been able to pollinate a half a dozen so far, so we'll see. And this one, this one down here is the first to grow, and uh, I'm excited about that. I wanted to bring up three possibilities of how to handle this pollination issue. One is to continue doing what I've been doing very tricky, and the flowers are tiny, yeah, it's very difficult, and there's very limited success. You know, something that I can do, but uh, you know, I've been doing this for a few weeks now, and I've got maybe half a dozen at, at the most, and only one that's really taken off, so that's terrible, and um, if I'm dependent on that, then I got a problem. So, what I decided to do is pull I pull all the cucumbers except for two, and uh, so I had a couple. So here's one vine that goes down. It's got the couple below that are doing all right. Then I decided, okay, I'm gonna pull those out. I'm gonna plant other vining crops like squash, like uh, like uh, acorn squash or small pumpkins. And uh, what I've done is I put uh, I just put the seed right in the membrane next to this uh, cucumber I'm going to pull out and as you can see it sprouted. So the reason I'm doing this, there's one there, uh, I got a couple that are, that are coming so the reason I'm doing this is because these plants, these vines, have big flowers, big huge flowers like a zucchini flower which is kind of your fist size and uh, with the idea I can continue to self-pollinate, but I got big flowers, much more chance of success uh, hand pollinating. So that's the number two. Number three is, uh, I think, the best solution, and that comes down to the plants themselves. So I've been looking at this West Coast Seed Gardening Guide, and uh, it's fantastic because it's very thorough, it's got, uh, like in cucumbers, it's got sections on growing cucumbers, and, uh, and then details on each one, and uh, different types of cucumbers. So, what I learned is that there's three types of cucumber plants. Uh, the first, and the most common, is the monoecious, monoecious. And uh, that's like the ones that I have growing in the tower garden right now where they have a male flowers that come out first and then followed by female flowers. And it requires cross-pollination from the male to female to, to, for the fruit to actually grow. So that's, that's the one that I'm fighting with. It's a bit of a problem. The second type is called Ganesius. Ganesius. And, and this is one that's been bred specifically to put out mainly female flowers, like the first flowers out are female flowers, and then it will, it'll have maybe a few male flowers later. So this one, the idea is to increase the harvest by having mostly female flowers right from the get-go, and, uh, and uh, increase your harvest. The problem is you still need cross-pollination, so you still have that issue. Now, the third type 
is the best of all. And that is a Parthenocarpic variety. So, English cucumbers, these are seedless cucumbers. <clears throat> they grow in isolation from other cucumbers. To produce seedless fruits to do, do not require pollination. So, basically, this is perfect. I don't need, I just need to grow the vines and the fruit will set, will uh, just grow all by itself. So, I've got English cucumbers. There's a uh, one variety, there's another variety, Parthenocarpic, and uh, I think for inside, especially where I don't have pollinators and pollination is tough, this is the perfect solution. I also have these gherkins, again, seedless, Parthenocarpic, and uh, so what I'm planning on doing is is uh, buying some of these and uh, and then seeding them and growing parthenocarpic varieties of cucumbers or large flowering squash squashes and pumpkins to grow inside where I don't have pollinators. Uh, final comment is uh, just on some of the herbs. So you can see here, this is a lettuce. Um, and this has been interesting. It's, it's grown out on this long stalk. You can kind of see it back there and the side shoots, but um, it doesn't really sprout along the stalk once it's picked. So I'm going to take that out shortly. Uh, my parsley has done fantastic. And uh, this is dill. In the background, it's done fantastic as well, but it's kind of it's kind of uh, shielding my kale and Swiss chard, which I need to open up and make more room for. So I'm planning to uh, open it up some more and let these plants to really come on and and grow. The one that has been fantastic has been this one here, which is collard greens. And I'm going to go around and show you the collard greens on the far side. So here we go around and uh, here's the collard greens. It's been great. It started way down here and it's come up and you can see the structure. And I harvested it just above one of those nodes and then it just uh, through each of the nodes that's remaining get a new plant, which is what's happened right in here. Let's go in here. There you go. I harvested that. And there's a node. And I got new plants growing out to replace it. So it's been doing fantastic. Here's cilantro. Uh, cilantro's gone crazy, uh, which has been great. Uh, you know, um, I've harvested it lots. And um, yeah, there's the base. And I just cut it back and then another one takes over. So that's been fantastic. Collard greens, kale. I gotta open it up so I get more room. And of course, I'm still trying to hand pollinate these little guys. So that's the story, that's the update. And um, oh, I guess the last thing I wanna mention is with the tomatoes, uh, with my, with my uh, trying to prune off the leaves. Um, <clears throat> of course, you got tomatoes here. Well, they're coming out of here. But the tomatoes and these vines, the lower areas get pruned. So it's kind of barren. So what I would suggest for future is grow things like Swiss chard, collard greens on the base layer and then one level up or maybe two levels up uh, let's say one level up put the uh, vining plants like tomatoes cucumbers etc and uh, it's just vine and then the third level maybe uh, maybe some more 
yeah, like uh, Swiss chard, kale, etc. And then, and then the upper levels, keep them for, or maybe some peppers down below. Here's a pepper that I've, I suck in there. And you can see the flower looking good. So let's just tweak that a little bit. Come on, tweak that. And hopefully that'll form a pepper and many more. And then the upper levels I've got for these herbs. So that's the update and uh, keep on growing. Hope you're having a great Christmas season. Thanks.